Hello everyone, welcome to the final part, the final part, part number 4 of Devil May Cry 5 and this is the finale of the marathon guys, that is the final video of the marathon. So, yep, this is the final part of the marathon. So... We're here, we're gonna face off against Urizen, this is the final Urizen fight, and uh... So... Yeah, this is the last part, this is unfortunately... is coming to an end. It's been definitely fun of course during the marathon. I'll definitely of course will do kind of a speech. Like I mentioned in the last video, I'm gonna put a speech, you know, for the final one and just do a little bit of final thoughts and final talks. So, this is Eurozone, the last Eurozone fight, and I'm completely keep on try to con contain with my DT. And I'm just definitely, all I'm doing here in this part is holding down the double sugar button. As soon as I hit the DT mode, it's in DT mode. And I kept held it for a while, by the way. So this is the second phase. If we already done the first phase. Now he's in the second phase. His third phase is where it's dangerous. He's very, very dangerous in his the final phase. He's pretty strong. So try to shoot these uh, arrows or hit them. Get some DT out off of them. So. Playing the heavy rain so I can just can take and destroy him. Okay, I got hit there. And I got hit there, so uh Yeah guys, this is the last part and this is here comes his last form. And this is where we're gonna just gonna fucking nuke punch the hell out of him until he dies. That's what we're gonna do. He's gonna rain and just nuke punch the hell out of him until he freaking just perishes. I done like about three of them in a row. And then just gonna cut end. So I did, and look at this. Look at this. He didn't even die! You gotta be fucking kidding me! He didn't even freaking die in this one. You gotta be joking. Look at this crap, dude. So I decided to just do some judgment cut and just do some judgment cuts, and that's pretty much it. What the hell? That was so fucking shit. Anyway, so here we are. Second, uh, third to last mission. And like I said, uh, I have done like, like I did in my last video with the uh, the triple bosses, I'll do in here as well. So yeah, this is just a, a full-fledged normal video, which is me just fighting bosses. Literally, this is this, like this whole video is a boss rush video of just fighting three bosses. The Eurozone boss fight, the Malay Island Trio, and Dante. And like lastly Dante. And that uh, concludes the game. And I will not be talking on the final fight, Mission 20. I'm going to be completely silent on the final fight so y'all can just enjoy the music. And then I'll, once it's done, I will hop into the next one, which is basically me saying, you know, my final words. I'll have a bit of a chat, I guess. So, yeah. So we're fighting here is. Griffin, the first part, and the rest of the voice actor, by the way. So, at that, and we transition to Shadow now. Because all we do is just finding a couple enemies. It's not really that important. It's just finding a couple enemies to get some DT on. Using the punch so I can deal damage. And I always step in the air and just, just gonna cut the hell out of him. That's like the, the easiest method to fight Shadow. It's just just main cut all the time and stay up in the air. You'll be 100% safe. Or if you definitely want to have that extra security, just go in the corner there and just keep on just main cutting him. So, it's very easy. Pretty easy boss battle by the way, so it's not that hard. So, so here we are, now we're going to fight Shadow and Griffin at the same time. Which I know Griffin is going to be there, so I decided to punch. So I can damage Shadow and here comes Griffin, right in the corner, you can see he came in, he came in the corner and stuff, so it's part, eh, yeah, doesn't take much, it took me a very long time. Now here comes the, the big fight, 
the big battle now of the trio all together and I decided to just head on to straight up to Cindy T mode and completely annihilate. I just completely annihilate, annihilate them. I decided to just take a break a little bit, get some DT on and now I'm gonna go back to Cindy T mode in a few seconds there and ow that was a hit and I decided to go to Cindy T mode. That was pretty painful. That was so painful that took me about like I would say like 40% of my health with that one punch. And look at that. Sin DT, like, most people make cuts can hit multiple people, so. I was gonna put, like, go double ganger, but it's like, it's not that worth it. And, yep. These two Shadow Griffin's balls are both down. The orbs are down completely, so. Yeah. So I do a taunt and jump away. If I didn't jump away, I would get hit, and. My meter could be gone. I think. I tried to taunt just to get some DT a little bit. Alright, so I did this part here, very easy. Just teleport to him. Do this. That's it, then that's it, the boss is over. And you deal tons of damage. He doesn't go DT mode for some reason, so. Alright, oh, he goes to DT a little bit. I done like three in a row. Just in case. Well, that killed him. And that's pretty much it, that's done. Right now, we're gonna fight the final boss, which is Dante. Now, so what I did here is just, just combo him. That's it. Dante in this game is pretty interesting. I would say he had a lot of armor's move set, had a lot of armor properties, and I used just a Yamato. That's it. So then Yamato only fight. It's actually an achievement if you do this. It's actually an achievement. By doing this. So yeah. I'm doing dodges, get some DT on, comboing, counters moves, stay away from him. You know? He's not that hard. I expect him when we fight we fought him in five, I thought he'd be like uh, so doish in four. Four he was so painful to fight and I was scared to fight him in four. In five he's a lot easier. No, he has some type of like a pattern, different style. He goes to like Royal Guard a lot. Like I said, do not do the uh, attack on him or he's gonna... When he does like the Royal, like the flat, when he like, you know, catches your move and reflect that back at you, can deal tons of damage. Maybe a little mis- if you do a little bit of error, you will be... Yeah, if you took, you know, like one error can cost you the whole fight. You cannot kill you instantly, but it can like really end you real fast. Jump away. I decided to do many times the... There's a special kind of like uh, dialogue in this fight. When you use uh, Virgil and try to do the, the freaking EX uh, taunt and he'll do it back at you. I wanted to do that, but I failed. So I tried even doing it at the very end. So just like the, just like like to make it cool. Ooh, damn! Yeah, that was close. All right, here comes Cavalier. You can actually dodge the Cavalier with the dodge. So yeah, with the Dark Slayer dodge, the trick. But I decided just to jump just to be safe. As you can see, look at this. I tried to do it, and I failed every time. I try to do the best way to press square constantly and just try to do that. But he comes back and doing the freaking gunslinger. Oh damn, that was almost close there. So yeah. I don't have much to say other than uh not a lot of things to say. So I will be seeing you guys at after the last level so I can get my farewells. I'll see you there.
things end. And that, my friends, is the end of Devil May Cry 5. And that concludes the Devil May Cry Marathon. Oh man, it's been like how long I've been doing this? For two months? My goodness, I think this video will be actually out on the 31st of March. This video will be out, hopefully, on the 1st of April. So that concludes the marathon guys, the marathon has been, has finally completed, 
hope you guys enjoyed the marathon. I had fun doing them. There are parts out there that I just like, you know, had some hard times, but like, it was fun doing them. I thank you guys so much. The love and support from you guys. And as well, of course, thank Tiger for, uh, you know, wanting me to do it. And the dare is fully done. Tiger dared me to do this, and it's fully done. So, yeah. What's next? Well, the next step thing to do is maybe another marathon, maybe another new thing. Who knows? You have to guys just wait and see. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. The playlist is gonna be appear on the screen now. The playlist is gonna be appearing right now on the screen or by link down below. It's gonna be the playlist from the first to the last. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit like. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We are definitely our goal is to hit 200 subscribers. Thank you guys for supporting me, joining me on this journey of the marathon. Thank you guys for watching. This is Chris Walker, and I'll see you guys in the next project or the next video. And as always, rock the fuck on.